Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. In today's video, we will talk about the card control from ActiPro using Avalonia. In the last video, we talked about how to create a split view and how to integrate ActiPro in Avalonia. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by first by going to the Solution Explorer. And here under our view model, let's add a, another view model called cards let's uh, name it as cards page view model and click on add next uh, let's go to the view and add another view let's select new item this time and select Avalonia and under Avalonia select a user control and rename it as cards page view And click on add so now we have the user control we have to do a few changes uh, to connect these uh, newly created pages with each other with the view and the view model so so in the view let's change this from split view uh, dot cards page view to dot views and um, on the page over here let's change this to dot views we are changing the namespace and let's save this changes and let's see if this uh, resolves this issue over here and i think it is resolved and you can also see the user control is now pointing to the views under the views we have created this new page called cards page view so it is pointing to the right area right page and also the namespace is pointed to the right view so um, now uh, let's start by designing our control so let's rebuild this application once One more thing that was left to do was to inherit from the view model base and change this to public and save. Let me rebuild. Okay, so the, now the user control is loaded. Let's uh, start adding the cards control. So let's begin with a stack panel. And this stack panel will have a margin of uh, say 20. And the horizontal alignment to say left. And let's close this stack panel and within our stack panel we'll create two text blocks. Let's set the margin to say zero and five, and then font size to say 18 points, and font weight to bold. And within this, let's add a title card. You can also go to our uh, old page if you have followed the tutorial. You can take the data from here, copy this, 
come to our page over here and paste it here so we have uh, now we should now have the similar design only thing is we do not have the active pro control because we have not included this namespace which we did on the last video so let's copy this and go to our user control and add the namespace now uh, we need to do a couple of changes for example the title uh, for we'll change the title from avatar to card and um, also let's change the text okay so now we have our uh, title and the um, description so let's uh, add this uh, card control so say active pro and then let's look for that control called cards let me type the full okay we have the card control and let's close this first and let's slowly start adding the uh, properties for this card so let's start by cover doc and um, set it to left so all the elements uh, within this uh, card will be docked to the left then let's uh, set the width to say 350 let's set the height to 200 next uh, the background to white uh, foreground to black then footer footer background so the, this card has a uh, header body and the footer so i am right now setting the footer background to gray then we have the footer foreground since we have set the footer background to gray, let's set the footer foreground to white. Then we have the title attribute. Let's say John Doe. Then we have the description. Let's say business analyst. Then we have the margin for this uh, card so let's say 0 comma 20 0, 0 okay and then let's say the horizontal or the header alignment to left let me remove this and yes those are the properties or the attributes uh, that we have set for our card next uh, we will add there are three elements uh, to this card one is the cover then the thumbnail and the footer so let's add these elements dot uh, cover and within this cover element uh, we need to add an image so let me uh, download an image uh, and um, i will tell you how to add this so let me search okay um so uh, let's go to our assets and add this existing image that I have. Uh, let's uh, go, sorry, I selected the new item. Let's go to add an existing item and go to downloads. And let's me change this to all files. And let me select this image. So I have now added this image over here. Uh, let me rename this. Okay, and let me now start by adding image source slash assets. So instead of avalonia.iphone.logo, let's change it to alexander.jpg. And then uh, the next property that we need to set is the max width because I don't want it to be too big on this card. So let's say 150 and let's set the stretch 
to uniform and that's it uh, i think um, the image should be now loaded let's give this a build so uh, after uh, i built the application you can see uh, we have now the image uh, within our cover so next uh, we can go ahead and add the thumbnail so let's say at the pro card dot thumbnail and let's close this and within this let's add another image and say width of 32 points height of 32 points and source uh, let's select the avalonia logo and close and close this and now you can see we have a small logo here and that is the thumbnail and uh, you can also add a footer so let's also add a small description uh, below the uh, business analyst uh, so that would be just i'll add some text okay so here you can see it has also added the data that you wanted and uh, then you can finally work on the footer so active pro dot footer and within a footer element let's uh, add a text block and let's set the font style to italic let me scroll up and let's set the text to just just to understand what the footer element will look like and uh, let me go ahead and close this tag and there is our footer and this is uh, what our card looks like and we are done designing the cards page now let's go back to our uh, main window over here and let me close all of these card pages and let's go back to our home page, uh, main page and here we do not have the cards page uh, integrated so let's go uh, to our element here in the model view model and scroll up and let's add our new list item before that uh, before adding our list item to the list uh, we need to go to styles and add the icon for our cards page so let's go to the fluent icons uh, library where we have the icons for our Avalonia controls. I will put a link to in the description. And here is the icon that I need for my cards control. So I will select this, copy, and go to my styles page. And here I will paste this uh, style stream geometry and save this and copy this name because I will need it in my view model, main view model. So here in this, uh, let me add a list item right now we only have uh, home and uh, avatar so the next one is the cards list item and and it is of type list item template and it is type of cards page view model and next parameter is the icon uh, or the stream geometry name which we are going to pass to our uh, observable collection and it goes over here this uh, view model and the um, name of the um, uh, stream geometry that will be passed to this item template of uh, which will accept type uh, as the uh, view model type and the icon key which is the name of the stream geometry and it will assign it to the uh, respective parameters over here and when you click on the main window on the card element over here uh, on the content element uh, the content element will be bound to the page uh, that we select so right now we have just added this so let's uh, rebuild and our list our list box item is bound to the items that are um, in the view model and once um, we add the items here in the observable collection it should load here in the split view so i'm just waiting for this to load and here you can see our cards um, item has uh, been added to the list because we made it available in this observable collection um, and now uh, if i run this page or uh, run this uh, application And this list box has the selected items uh, a binding which go calls this 
unselected list item changed uh, property over here and then it changes the uh, current page to the selected page so let's wait for the application to load And here is our page. So right now we are at the home page because we have set the home page as the current page. And then we discussed about the avatar page. Since I'm using Avalonia Active Pro controls uh, in evaluation mode, I will just click on evaluate. And here we talked about the avatar control in our previous video. And now today we just uh, design this cards control and this is how it looks. So hope you all liked watching this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and do subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye-bye.